Hey comic book fans, hey YouTubers, hey everybody out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner and this is your host Spider Slayer, that's right guys, we're back to do another comic book review and this was one of my favorite books of the week and God, I was so lucky I did not pass on this book. Um, when I first looked at it, I thought, man, this book is weird. How the heck can I buy this book? But for $2.99 and 44 pages and no advertisements, I had to go out and get this book and see what it was all about. And so this book is... That's right. Saga, Chapter 1, Issue 1, whatever you want to call it. Guys, this book is awesome. It is done by Brian K. Vaughn. And the art's done by Fiona Staples. When I first saw this, I was like, what is this? Uh, I mean, seriously, horned ram guy and some lady with wings and green hair. Um, but you know what? It, it, it was Brian K. Vaughn, the author who did The Last Man Standing. And what can I say? I, I was intrigued by this book. I mean, this is an ongoing series. It's $2.99. It's like Star Wars action. And it is about a couple who are on opposite ends of the war. And they'll do anything to protect their newborn baby um, against the never-ending war. This story seems absolutely endless. And the character development in this book is probably absolutely phenomenal. Um, to show you a couple more picks, I have right here. That's right. This gentleman with the cape is like a bounty hunter trying to go after the couple. Um, his name, I think it's the Will. Um, he's like this cape bounty hunter, like I said, and he has this like cat lion that talks. Um, it is crazy. And. He's being hired to capture Marco, who's the man that looks like a ram or has horns on his head, and Alana, who is the female lead in this book. Um, he was hired to capture, and he is not the only one uh, to go after these people. Um, here is another picture of our character here. Uh, he's a pretty badass looking guy. He's got a cigarette or whatever he's smoking there with this crazy cat. Um, again, he was hired to take out our main characters. Um, the artwork in this book, I wasn't too happy about, um, in the beginning, but as I read it, I got used to it, and it kind of gives the book its own feel to it. So I've adapted to it very quickly. Looking more at the art, here is our female lead. Um, and her and her name again is Alana, and she's basically delivering her baby here. Um, that's what you see in the opening scenes of the book. Um, and her and her husband are basically just going at it with each other. And you know he's trying to deliver this baby, and they're cursing. And I just wanted to let you guys know this book is for mature readers only. There's a lot of crazy little stuff in here, a lot of F-bombs, a lot of sex, and stuff like that. Um, so here's another picture, and you can see here she's trying to deliver her baby, and they're having this argument, and she's like, ah, oh, holy fuck, you know? And the next thing we see is the baby is born, and the baby has little horns, and um, it has wings as well, and the baby's name is Hazel. Um, these pictures that I got, I got them from CBR, um, so very, very good book. That's right, so there's your little preview of the artwork and what it looks like, um, but basically, like I said, Alana delivers the baby in the first issue, and, you know, in our main character here is, uh, 
is just sitting there overwhelmed with joy of his new baby and he's basically crying right away she you know we go into she goes to feed him and she goes to take care of him and Marco is just like I'm going to do anything to protect our family um, so in this story we see crazy characters this is what makes it like a Star Wars universe because wherever you go you see crazy characters you see characters um, like this um, basically, this is Marco's, I guess, family or group or kind. And um, in the other group, you see the winged characters. Um, and as we go along, there's there's crazy battles. There's no, you know, there's no holding back. There's slicing and dicing and battling and and you know, faces getting chopped off in this book. And um, it's just tremendous. I mean, we go into a galaxy of space, and you learn every a little bit about where our characters are from, what planets they're from, how long the war's been going on. Um, we have crazy sex scenes with, you know, TV set guys. Um, I think the character's guy here is uh, the main character's guy. Um, here is. Prince Robot the Fourth, some weird thing. So they're like some kind of weird TV set guys, um, just crazy stuff. But again, the main plot of this this particular book is our couple is trying to escape and r run away from the war, and they got this map, and they're trying to escape to where this shuttle is to uh, take their daughter Hazel and and try to raise her in a better world and but the war's everywhere so it's very hard to um, to do this but they got this map and this is what they're trying to do and in the process we meet other characters like I said we meet the Will again here he is right here and again he's a bounty hunter trying to go he's going to be searching for our main characters uh, but it, it's just so creative and everything about this book is phenomenal and I have a feeling that this story will go on for the hundreds absolute hundreds I mean if you haven't read this book you can see that there are our lead characters Alana and Marco are very determined to raise their daughter and towards the end of the issue they had to cross this bridge of uncanny to get to this to the ships and at the end we see more of these species and and things like that and we can see that their bridge was destroyed to get to the spaceship that they had to get to by some weird looking creatures and they basically didn't give up hope um, they're basically just going and um, they're basically just going and trying to find an alternate path and the good thing is about this book is that you see this little writing in the background. Well, this is the story is kind of narrative by the daughter, and her name is Hazel, and that's how you find out what her name is at the end of the book. Um, but it, it it's very nice and it's very touching because in the last panel, Hazel, which is the daughter, she goes, "But thanks to these two, at least I get to grow old." So it, it's. It's like Hazel's telling the story of her parents um, in this book and how they've done everything possible to try to protect her and raise her. Now, if they live or they die, we don't know. There's just so many different um, story plots and things like that that can happen. It's just absolutely endless. Um, but if you have not gotten Saga yet, I definitely, definitely suggest this. I thought I liked Thief of Thieves the best. This might actually be my best new um, image book. Um, I think it might be this. It might be then Thief of Thieves. And then I got um, Manhattan Projects and Hell Yeah or Close Together. But after a first issue and reading 44 pages with no ads and $2.99, great deal. I, I'm 
so looking forward to issue two and seeing how this story develops, how the characters evolve, and everything about this book. So again, guys, please, if you still can, please go out and buy this. I highly recommend it. I mean, if you're not a fan of sci-fi and things like that, that's one thing. But if you are, uh, please go out and buy it. I think you'll very much enjoy it, and you cannot beat the value of the book. So I had to get my two cents in of this book. Other reviewers had started reviewing this. I wanted to get my review in, show you a little bit of everything about the book. Um, and that's it. So that's it. Saga, chapter one. Can't wait for chapter two. So guys, leave your comments below. If you read this book, tell me how you feel about it. If you're on the fence about it, hopefully I may, maybe made you make a decision about it. Just go out and buy the book, guys. You won't be disappointed. At least it's a number one, right? You can't beat that. So until the next review, this is Spider Slayer signing off. And peace, guys. Thank you.